Okay, here we have the BERC2 clip. It's the BERC2 clip or beam end retaining clip. And what the BERC2 does is it's a seismic clip. In number one, in DEF installations, it eliminates two inch wall angle. And in seismic C installations, it makes your installation a heck of a lot easier. The way it operates is it slips behind the wall angle of your standard 7 8 inch wall angle. It just snaps behind and, and then the clip is there to receive the T that comes into it. Now first of all, for a seismic C installation, you have to have 3 8 clearance with unattached walls all the way around the installation. And that makes squaring up the installation very difficult because none of the T's are attached. What the Burke 2 does is once the Burke 2 is snapped onto the walls, it allows you to create a tight wall on two sides. And a tight wall can be achieved by putting a screw right through the hole in the Burke 2 clip. And that makes the T tight. Now on two other walls on a seismic C installation, all you have to do is um, put the T into the clip and then that gives it the standard 3 8 clearance that you need on those, two, uh, on those two walls in a seismic C installation where the T has to float. Now on a seismic DEF installation, the Burke 2 clip eliminates two inch unsightly two inch wall angle and it allows you to have two fixed walls with either pop riveting your T to the wall angle, or if you can't show pop rivets, use the Burke 2 clip with a, a uh, screw through the hole, which locks the T into place for a fixed wall. Now your other two walls, you can uh, just put your T into the clip, or even put a screw into this elongated uh, hole, which gives your T movement. And basically you're just gonna cut your T's to rest on the hem of 7 8 inch wall angle, then you have a standard three quarter inch clearance that's required for a DEF installation. So again, the Burke 2 clip or the beam end retaining 2 clip.